What's up guys, I am Dylan Wilkinson and along with my wife, we own 320 Studio. We are a photography, videography, and design studio based in Louisiana. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about how we use Dubsado and its features in our wedding photography business. But before we get started, I wanna tell you a little bit about our studio. So 320 Studio started out as a side hustle in 2017. And shortly after, in 2019, I had the opportunity to take it full time. And then in 2020, my wife joined me and we are both now full time running our business together. We have two employees, Corey and Megan. They are rock stars and they are part time and help us out in a bunch of different ways. So Megan helps out with a lot of the Dubsado stuff that I'll be talking to you about today. And Corey helps with a bunch of internal filming and editing for our clients. So on the wedding side of our business, we offer quite a lot of services. We have wedding photography, videography, stationary design, wedding coordination, and we have a photo booth. And that's a lot. So without Dubsado, there's no way we would be able to keep track of everything. So we use Dubsado for pretty much everything, for complete client management, for tracking income and expenses, for financial reports and projections. We use it for scheduling. We use it for profit loss statements, invoicing via their Stripe integration, and project source reporting. So with client management, we try to keep everything in Dubsado. That makes it easy for me, Danielle, or Megan to jump in there and know where we are at any given point with a client. When it comes to tracking expenses and income, this is really helpful when it comes time to make business decisions and when it comes time to do taxes because everything is tracked as we go and it makes it a whole lot easier. So we're able to track payroll and run a report on that. We're able to track how much we spent on gear and software and food and entertainment and it just makes tax time is so much easier. So their financial reporting and projections feature helps us determine where we are in our business and at what stream our revenue is coming from, whether it be wedding photography, videography, stationery, wedding coordinating, or our photo booth. We're able to tell exactly where things are coming from and where we need to grow. Exporting a profit loss statement at the end of the year is extremely easy. It's a matter of pressing a button and I can pull that into Google Sheets, organize everything how I want to, and then get it over to my CPA. That way they can help me go through taxes and make sure that everything is done correctly. When it comes to invoicing, the payment schedule and Stripe integration is extremely easy. We're able to get paid on time and know exactly where each invoice is at any given point. Project source reporting is super helpful and I was really excited when this feature was added because it gives us the opportunity to look at where all of our jobs come from. And when it comes time to determine whether or not we wanna keep advertising on a platform like Wedding Wire or The Knot, it makes it extremely easy to determine the ROI of those services. So last but not least, scheduling. We love scheduling through Dubsado and try to schedule everything through there because number one, it helps us keep our calendars in line and know where we need to be at any given point but it also helps us when it comes to sending reminders to our clients because we can set those to send out automatically two days before their session or consultation. That way I don't have to remember to do that and they get a reminder that, you know, it's time to hang with us. So now we're gonna talk about our lead capture forms. That is where our client begins and this is how almost every single client gets into our account regardless of where they come from. So if they come from Wedding Wire and they'd like to set up a consultation, we will send them this form. That way they can fill it out, they're in Dubsado. We have all the information we need to prep for that sales call. So on our website, we have a few different lead capture forms. We have a general contact form, a portrait photography form, and a wedding photography form. These are gonna ask basic information uh, depending on which one they choose. So this, like I said, is how everybody gets into Dubsado. So after a client fills out a form, a workflow is triggered. And in that workflow, we have one email that is sent to them that just lets them know that we have their information and we'll get back in touch with them as soon as we can. We do this for a few reasons because number one, it lets them know we have their info because we in the past have had issues filling out forms and not knowing if it went through correctly and things like that. So we wanna make sure they know that everything is working properly and we will be in touch. It also gives us the opportunity to look at the date and the project to make sure we're available and interested to move forward. So after we've gotten a lead, we'll reply to that email with our pricing and ask them to set up a consultation. Once they're ready to do that, we use the scheduler in Dubsado to make that happen. So we typically have that conversation with them via email back and forth. I don't send them just schedulers with open dates because my fear is that I will forget to add something to my calendar 
and they'll schedule something during my son's basketball game or something and I won't be available. So I have this conversation ahead of time, but open up the Dubsado scheduler as myself and schedule it. That way they still get the emails and they still are prepped for that call. So after we have a consultation with a client and they're ready to move forward, we're gonna send them a proposal. In this proposal, it's gonna have all of our services and the things that they can select and it will allow them to select the things that they wanna book us for and then create an invoice for them. And once we do that, we will set up their contract and send everything over to them. So whenever we send all of this stuff over to them, I typically just send them the portal with instructions on how to find their invoice and how to find their contract, sign their contract, and pay their invoice. During our consultation, I also prep them with other forms that they'll be getting throughout the process. These forms are sent in a workflow. So in Dubsado, we have a few different workflows going on. We decided to go this route because we wanted to make sure that everything we sent our clients was highly specific to them. So if they were getting engagements, we wanted to make sure they got engagement information. And if they were getting bridles, we wanted to make sure they got bridal information. We didn't want to just send random information that they may or may not deem relevant. So at 320 Studio, all of our collections come with engagements, but our clients have the option to opt out of that. So during the sales call, if they tell me that they're not interested in doing engagements or something like that, we even have a workflow set up for that just in case because like I said, everything I provide my client with, I want to be extremely relevant and helpful. So all of our workflows are pretty much the same. We've got a booked client with no session, a booked client that is undecided on whether they want a bridal or an engagement, a booked client with engagements and bridal sessions, a booked client with engagements, and we have an after wedding day workflow. Each of these send, like I said, very similar things, but specific to them. So for example, they all start out by sending our social media shout out form. This is something we send to our clients because we want to show them some love on our Instagram stories. So we ask them to send us a picture, a little bit about their story and how they met and their Instagram handles. This does a few different things. Number one, it shows our clients that they are more than a number. They are important to us and you know, we want to tell everybody that we're shooting their wedding because we're excited about it. It also gives us a little bit of insight on how they met and their personality. That way when it comes time for their engagements, we feel a bit more connected to them. So instead of bringing you through all of these workflows, I'm going to walk through just one of them and that's gonna be the client that books engagements and bridles. So like I said earlier, the first thing they're gonna get is our social media shout out. And then next, they're gonna get booking and engagement and bridal session email. This email is just going to tell them, hey, you can book your engagements whenever you're ready. And then it's gonna tell them how we like to do bridal sessions and when we like to do bridal sessions. It's also gonna send them a bit of information on preparing for each. The next thing they're gonna get is gonna be a timeline details form that is gonna give us everything we need to know that tells us where they're getting ready, when they're getting ready, and it will help us in creating their timeline. Next, they're gonna get a collection of resources email that is just a bunch of blogs that we've written that we hope help them along the way. The next form we're gonna send is gonna be our portraits and additional details information. And we send this to them that way they can let us know if there's anything specific that they want for family portraits. This helps us be prepared for any complex family situations that may arise and it lets them know that, hey, it's okay to tell us exactly what photos you want for your family portraits. The next thing we're gonna send is an email asking them to book their bridal session and it's gonna give them information about booking that, where to book it, things like that. It's very similar to our engagement email that we send them um, at the top of the workflow, but it is specific to their bridals. And then the last thing they're gonna get in this workflow is gonna be the vendor information. So this is where we're gonna get all the vendors that are involved in their wedding day. That way when it comes time to share their photos or put them on our website as a real wedding, we can link to the appropriate vendors and show them some love as well. So while we're in workflows, I wanna go ahead and show you our after wedding day workflow. It is obviously gonna be started after their wedding day. So they're gonna get an email right after that tells them, hey, you had a beautiful wedding. We are super stoked about it. We are working on your photos or video and we're gonna get those to you as soon as we can. So after that first initial email, we send them something that's going to help them prep as they're waiting. So it's gonna give them ideas on how to hang their pictures in their home or 
how to do a Facebook watch party when it comes time to watch their video and just a bunch of different information to kind of get them in the mindset and get them excited about getting their final products. Next, we're gonna send a print campaign email to them that is gonna encourage them to order prints through our gallery, um, giving them a discount when they do. The next email that they're gonna get is gonna be about the other services we offer that either they or someone they know might be interested in, like family sessions, senior sessions, maternity sessions, stuff like that, just to you know, remind them that we would love to work with them again in the future. The last email they're gonna get in this workflow is gonna be a year later, and it's gonna encourage them to book an anniversary session. So now that we've gone through workflows, I'm gonna show you guys how we use task boards in Dubsado. We use these alongside with workflows to make sure that everything gets done when it needs to get done. All right, so the first thing we did with task boards is create a template. That way this template can be applied to all of our wedding photography clients. And in it, it has a few different columns that tell us what to do when. So for project management, we use Asana, but we use task boards in Dubsado to help bridge the gap between the two. So we have a few different columns on our task board. They are new lead, ready to book, three months before wedding, month of wedding and after wedding follow-up. This makes sure that everything is sent when it needs to be sent and it helps keep information where we need it. So for example, when it comes to a sales call, I write everything down on my iPad that way I can quickly get to it and then after that I export it as a PDF and upload it to Dubsado. That way if we ever need to reference it, it's attached to our client's project. So our task board helps me remember to do quite a few different things, but one of the biggest things that it does is helps me remember to create an Asana task because typically the task board is applied in Absato before we have to make a task in Asana because we don't make anything in Asana happen until a client has paid their retainer and they are good to go. All right guys, I hope that was helpful and I hope it gave you a little bit of insight about how we as wedding photographers used Dubsado to make sure that each client gets a consistent experience and we stay efficient and profitable.